The master effects, as well as the global send effects, can help you to shape this horn section to be the perfect sound for a perfect genre. If you're working in a certain genre or style, you can use these to kind of tweak this section to get it to sound the way you want. For example, let's say we've got this dance track here. Got a couple of just a simple bass line and a beat going on in the background with maybe a little delayed chords synth sound. A little out. Now, if I want to get horns that will mix in well with that, I'll open up that contact instance. There we go. I'm going to take this section. Now, I can record the instrument first and then tweak it later, which might be the way to go. So before I even get involved in tweaking the sound, because I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing works well with the track, let's record it the way it is. There we go. We can open up and tweak a little bit of the MIDI. All right, magically tweaked. Wonderful. So now we've got this sound, and let's loop it right there so that we can just deal with that. It's a little too in your face for me. It's not really mixing with my dance track. I don't want it to be quite so front and center. So what I'll do is I'm going to open up the smart controls for that instrument, and we'll open up contact, and let's get in there and make this sound a little bit more dancey. First thing I'll do is add a little bit of delay. The delay is on, but the time is really short. Let's make it a little longer so we really hear the delay. We'll do eight sixteenth notes. Raise the volume up a little. Hmm, sounds pretty good. I'm wondering if that's going to conflict and start to sound a little bit muddy. Let's take a listen. Nah, I think mixed in that's pretty good. If I don't want quite so many repeats, we can just adjust the delay feedback, pull it back a little bit. Now, under the global master effects, let's engage the low pass filter. As we can hear, that's going to change the filter cutoff frequency and give us a little bit of a muted sound. We can adjust the resonance so it doesn't quite punch in the face so much. Well, now we've got these filtered horns. Next thing I want to do, to again, give them that sort of old school feel, maybe we'll drop a little bit of the low gain out so it really sounds like it's on an old, old LP recording. Really, really filtered up. So now those horns sound really thin. Let's hear how it sounds mixed in. I'll adjust the volume, and there it is. I can loop it so that it happens with the synth as well, and then we'll hear how it mixes in with the rest of the track. Now that's just one riff, but you can see how you can really make it blend in there. Just a little bit of quick filtering, a little bit of EQ, and you can make that same horn section sound like it's from the 20s. If I pull it out, turn it off, everything back to normal, all of a sudden that horn section is full. And it sounds like a normal, full, powerful horn section again. Really, really cool that we can do this inside session horns without having to go to any kind of external effects.